Gene Chizik is the new defensive coordinator at North Carolina. He is going to work under Mac Brown. North Carolina, of course, is where he was most recently uh, before he retired to spend some more time at home with his kids and whatnot. Uh, went and took a job at the SEC Network, so he did not have to work nearly as many hours, etc. cetera. Uh, but he is familiar with the stomping that grounds. Based, that, that is based out of North Carolina, so he didn't have to move. He, exactly. stayed, he stayed in the same area. So it's not like, you know, that's based out of Atlanta or exactly. Birmingham. Now, he, he's working in Charlotte, but... Uh, but he moves over to Chapel Hill to take over the defense. His uh, his kids have graduated and whatnot. So, I mean, this kind of makes sense for him to get back into the game. Uh, I yeah. do find it odd, though. Uh, one, uh, how in the world did the USFL screw up their announcement so poorly? They handed out to Colin Cowherd and Greg McElroy and Cole Kublik, et cetera, a list of the coaches that have taken jobs as the new head coaches of these different USFL franchises. And Gene Chizik was the new head coach of the Birmingham franchise for the new USFL. Of course, it starts in the spring, et cetera. And Chizik came out and tweeted immediately after they made the announcement. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, this this deal ain't done. Like, it, don't get me wrong. I love the USFL, but I am not the head coach right now. And then, of course, it comes out the next day on Saturday that he is the new defensive coordinator how if you're the USFL and you were trying to to tell everybody you're trying to show everybody prove that you are a legitimate company how do you mess up something like this you've only got eight eight teams i i i think i think they jumped the gun because they were afraid of this and i feel like if this was a way of putting pressure on him and and just saying hey you can't take that job now we've already publicly told people that you've accepted this one and, and I bet they were pretty far along in the negotiations, uh, which is why they felt comfortable doing that. They thought they had their man, and uh, and they didn't. And that's fine. And listen, the, the, the defensive coordinator job at North Carolina is a million times better job than the USFL head coach. Agree. And, and it's not even close. It's not, you can't even measure those two things, all right? The, if, if history tells us anything, in nine months, that league won't exist. So – yeah. We've never had one of these leagues last two years. It's it's definitely strange. Um, and most of them don't last the year that they start. <laughs> you're, you're, actually, you're actually right. Uh, I was going to see if I could find this. All right, here we go. Gene Chizik uh, tweeted on December 14th. He said, Every scholarship offensive lineman at Texas will get $50,000 a year with the new NIL deal, not to mention the $200,000 education. Americans struggle finding $50,000 a year jobs to feed their children. Next, it's $100,000 per player with no end in sight. This is a flawed system. The most money wins. So he came out against NIL deals, yep. and now he takes a college head coaching job at a place that I believe... Nope, 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 nope. A college coordinator job, so he's not going to deal with any of these NIL problems at all. Okay, okay, you do have a point there. But he still has to be around it. He is still a part Doesn't of matter. the system. But he's, he's not... He's not a, okay, he's a part of the system the same way the janitor is a part of the system. He's not going to have any say in the NIL stuff. He's going to recruit kids, and 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 Mac or whoever the head coach is, is going to be responsible for working with the boosters to try to get the kids, to get the money to make sure they get deals for them. Yeah. It's not going to be his job. It's not going to be his responsibility. He he doesn't like it. That's fine. He's 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 antiquated in his thinking, and he's wrong. Yes, he is certainly that. Uh, I did find the it idea that these kids can right. now make fifty thousand dollars. Holy crap! And then you just give him a two hundred thousand uh, dollar uh, education bill. You you know how I feel about oh, that. Oh yes, that, that's a that's a made up number that the school makes up and charges people. That's yes. a bullshit number. That doesn't matter to anybody. <laughs> so if they didn't take the education. You just gonna give him two hundred grand? No, no, that's, that's bullshit. It's a made up fucking number. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B G and Any, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.